Hi, I'm Glenn, City of Allen Fishing Field Team, COAF Field Team on YouTube. In this round, well, you surely got a little uh, ouch, so I can't be out there fishing. But we still can always talk about fishing, especially in this new year since September September 1 rolled around. You got to get a new license, new license year here in Texas, as well as some new things happening in Oklahoma. And since we like fishing Texas as well as Oklahoma, uh, why don't we just go review some of these new rules for, in this case, Texas, and then one new rule in Oklahoma that you want to pay attention to if you're a trout fisherman. Check it out. What's new this year in fishing? Effective September 1, 2021 in Texas. So new for freshwater fishing, we see that allow additional methods to legally possess exotic species such as tilapia and grass carp. And then there's a modified length and bag limit for blue and channel catfish statewide, as well as some specific locations. And oh, by the way, I think that impacts our local lake here for the field team at Lake Levon. So we'll have to check that out. And then new for saltwater fishing allows the use of three crab traps per angler in currently restricted areas of Aransas County. And it has some more information concerning how they're securely attached, be it a fixed object such as a dock pier or bulkhead. And then some clarity in the red snapper bag limits. And then finally, the entire flounder fishery is closed from November 1 to December 14. So that's almost, well, that's about six weeks there where there's no flounder fishing. So keep that in your back pocket because that's in effect as we have this recording. Let's take a look at this tilapia and grass carp piece. Okay, what I noticed previously was right here where it says possess any tilapia, grass carp, or any other fish. This is harmful or potentially harmful without first killing the fish. So it looks like the change is, let's see, initially you had to basically kill it by gutting, beheading, gill cutting, or some other means, or putting it on ice, except for those that are valid triploid grass carp permit is in effect. And what that means is it's these grass carp that are, uh, aren't able to reproduce and has some information here on how to uh, determine what those waters are. So check that out. But I'm trying to find out, or it says that there's some new lawful means so let's see possess any tilapia grass carp or any other fish without first killing okay so it sounds like you can keep a tilapia grass carp as long as it's been killed interesting okay i guess that was different from before Okay, the next one is modified length and bag limits for blue and channel catfish statewide and at specific locations. So let's take a look at statewide. Okay, so we'll scroll down here to blue and channel cat, their hybrids and subspecies. It looks like it's a daily bag of 25 in any combination. So add them all up for channels and blues. And only 10 can be 20 inches or greater in length. And there's no minimum length. Oh, wow. That's that's different. Okay. Good to know. So 25. Only 10 can be 20 inches or greater. But then we have that caveat here. So let's go back here and go to specific locations. So here's some specific locations. And you can scroll down and kind of check your location. And I'm going to go check. Lake Levon, that's our local one here, because I heard that that was going to change. So there's Levon. And right here, so for blue and channel catfish, no minimum length. Okay. So that's the same as statewide. Daily bag possession limit is 25 blue and channel in combination. So that's also in line. And then the 25 fish bag limit, no more than five can be 20 inches or greater in length okay so statewide is 10 and levon it's going to be five and then no more than one of these can be 30 inches or longer wow oh wow so on a really good day you would catch 20 19.5 something something inch less than 20 inch catfish and then you'd catch four 
29 point something something less than 30 inch catfish and then you catch one really really 30 inch or bigger catfish and that would be an awesome max out day on Levon. all right good to know give me your back pocket all right, and because we're here in North Texas, make that run across the border to Oklahoma to go do some fishing, specifically some of those trout fishing opportunities that we get. Blue River, which is seasonal, and then we've got the Lower Illinois River as well as the Lower Mountain Fork, where it is year-round uh, for that opportunity to catch a trout or two. And in this case, what's new this year, or at least as of September 11, so that's actually tomorrow, Saturday, you can only get three trout statewide as a limit. And then there's still a caveat to that, and that when you look at the trout regulations in detail, uh, you'll still need to look at a specific location. So in the case of the daily limit is three trout combined in the designated trout areas, except in portion of the blue, the lower Illinois, and the lower mountain fork. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, so let's start out with the lower mountain fork. It looks like you got some additional requirements, barbless hooks only, and daily three, only one of which may be a brown trout greater than 30 inches, only one rainbow trout greater than 25 inches. That's park wide now. It doesn't look like there's any blue or red or, or different zones anymore. Let's go to Blue River. It's going to be stocked November 1 through the March 31st. There's that Disney trout area, and I believe it's like what it is before. Special regulations. Let's see. To the catch and release area. So that's still the same. It's barbless, artificial flies, and lures only. And it'll change come March. So no change there other than the, the three trout limit. Okay. Okay. Lower Illinois. It's a year round fishery. Special regulations, day limit, only three trout. One may be a trout, no less than 20 inches. Oh, okay, so this one, you have to be bigger than 20 inches. What does that mean if you catch a brown trout above the stream gauge, then you're good to go? Yeah, I'm a little confused there. Let me do a call out and make sure we've got this right because it's a little confusing. So stay tuned, more to come on that one. Okay. So more to come. Do check back. I'm going to get uh, some questions answered, and just a clarification. And then if you ever do get stuck or maybe while you're out there and you're out there trying to figure out what to do with a specific, uh, with a specific regulation, always reach out to your local game warden. And additionally, you can always reach out both to Texas Parks and Wildlife for the Texas regulations and then Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation and get confirmation from them as well for the Oklahoma regulations. And they're pretty good at answering the uh, questions that you have. Uh, they're pretty timely, so keep that in your back pocket. All right, next time, we'll catch y'all later, and good luck and good fishing here in the new fishing license year, September 2021, into next year, August 31st, 2022.